We will start, uh, well, first of all, good morning, everyone. Welcome, I'm glad you all made it here. So this is our best, next best option. So uh, you can enjoy our at home practice today, right? So sit comfortably, we're gonna uh, take a few moments to focus to uh, bring the mind into the present moment. So relax, keep the good posture in your upper body. Close your eyes. And when you are ready, start slightly deepening your breath, both inhalation and exhalation. And see if you can uh, set your burden aside for now. Just take it and place it right next to you. It will be there for you when we, fi we finish. But for now, I'm gonna use this hour or so, the next hour or so, to better ourselves to give ourselves some love because you deserve it as much as anybody else in your life. Let's bring the hands to the heart and I invite you to join me. We're going to start with chanting uh, OM three times and as you do it, so you're at home, um, nobody can hear you, I really um, ask you to do it out loud and uh, notice the vibration as you chant. Let's take a deep breath in. <clears throat> Now you can open your eyes or keep your eyes closed, but place uh, one hand over your heart and then the other hand on top of that hand and acknowledge your heart. Acknowledge your heart's deepest, deepest, oh, deepest desire. And now is a good time to create your sankalpa, your intention for this practice or your dedication, if you wish. And release the hands. Come to tabletop, please. All fours. We're gonna start with our good old cat cows here. So mind your alignment here. Wrists, shoulders, knees, hips, 
right? You can tap your toes or untap. Start with finding your neutral spine so you're not sagging down, you're not rounding the back. So try to find your neutral spine here. Soften in between the shoulder blades a little bit and engage the abdominals. So just feel it. Feel how the neutral spine um, feels. <laughs> okay. And then when you're ready, start your movement. Inhaling, arching the back, lifting the chin, opening the heart, exhaling, rounding. And continue. All of you are familiar with the cat cow, so continue at your own pace with your own breath. And one last time in each shape. And then come to neutral spine again. Find your neutral spine. And here is a suggestion. Try it and see how this uh, feels. So we're going to do uh, three times. We're going to do a rolling cat cow. That means that we're inhaling, arching the back, and then rounding the back and bringing the buttocks to the heels. And then on the inhalation, coming back up. But uh, see how this feels when you are exhaling and uh, rolling down to the heels, chant OM again. Okay, let's do it three times. So inhaling, arching the back, and then OM. Oh. Oh. And on the inhalation, coming back to tabletop. Okay, let's work the tail here. So shift the hips side to side. Okay. Continuing our warm up. So inhale, arch the back. Exhale, push back into child's pose. Inhale, come back up to tabletop. And exhale, tuck the toes. Push up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, knees down, arch the back. Exhale, push back to child. Inhale, come up to all fours. And exhale to downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, knees down, arch the back. Exhale, push back onto the heels. Inhale, come up to tabletop. And exhale, downward dog. Okay, stay here in downward facing dog. I'm gonna come out of the pose, but you guys stay. Or you can, alternatively, you can take child's pose. Okay, find your breath, whether you're in down dog or in child, find your breath. Huh? And now ground, feel the connection with the ground, wherever you are, in whatever pose you are, just really feel that connection through your hands and feet or through your shins, arms and forehead. And breathe here. Grounding, connecting to the ground, connecting to yourself, to your heart. Uh, 
All right. If you're in downward dog, step your feet a little bit closer together. And then either on the inhalation, either take your right uh, foot directly to uh, the right thumb, or you can choose to lift the right leg behind you and then bring it forward, coming into the runner's lunge. And you might want to use your blocks to support your hands here or not. Okay, let's stay here, breathing here. And then come back into downward facing dog or tabletop. Three breaths here. Let's go on to the other side. So from where you are, you're taking your left foot forward. So maybe reaching the left uh, leg behind you and then stepping the left foot forward, coming into the runner's lunge on this side. And then from here, you're gonna step the right foot forward, coming to the front of your mat. And release the upper body over the legs. Now bend your knees a lot. So your chest is, re is resting on your legs. The neck is relaxed. And now bring your arms alongside the ears, parallel to the ground. And firmly pressing into the feet, start rising up to your chair pose. On the next inhalation, coming up all the way. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Okay, find your Tadasana, please, your mountain pose. So press the hands firmly into each other, elbows out to the sides. Strong stance, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. So make sure you're at the front of your mat, please. Release the hands. <clears throat> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale with a straight back, fold forward. Bend the knees as needed. Then inhale, come halfway up, straight back. Exhale, fold. And take your left foot back into runner's lunge again. And here I invite you to take any variation of a lunge that you prefer. You can stay right here. You can drop the uh, left knee down if that works better for you today. Or if you want more, maybe you can rise up into crescent lunge. And five breaths here. Okay. 
One more breath. And then bring the hands uh, to the mat, wherever you are. And step your left foot forward. Hold over the legs, bending the knees as much as you need. Now we're taking a little rest here in Uttanasana. And maybe you want to clasp the hands in the back and lift the hands away from the body to stretch the shoulders. You can also uh, hold your strap here. And then release the hands if you um, had them in the back. Right. Let's on the next inhalation, extend the spine, come up halfway, chest reaches forward, abdominals in, and then exhale, hands to the mat, and taking the right foot back, and finding your expression of a lunge here. Either right here or dropping the knee down or coming up for crescent. Five breaths. And here you can also clasp the hands in the back for a little bit of a bonus chest stretch and shoulders. Good. And then bring the hands um, down to the mat, step the right foot forward, exhale into the standing forward fold. And now bending the knees, bring the hands to the hips and slowly rise up. Okay, you can shake it off here. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, clasp the hands in the back or grab your strap and fold forward, lifting the arms up. Okay, release the hands, bend the knees, and on the inhalation, come up. Right. Let's take the feet out wide. So you are facing the long side of your mat. Take your feet out wide. And here is the thing. If you are flexible, do not take your feet out too wide. Okay? Right. So hands on the hips, inhale, reach the chest up, and then on the exhalation, start folding at the hips, keeping the torso long, reaching the heart forward, and then stop about halfway. Extend the arms to the sides. Now clasp the hands in the back once again, or hold the strap. And continue folding forward, lifting the arms over the head. And again, feel free to bend the knees as much as you need here. Stay in the pose a couple more breaths. And what I want you to notice here is um, two directions of energy that's going on at the same time. So you're reaching up through your hands and the lower part of the body is reaching down to the ground. And your body, your whole body is in between 
those energies. Okay, now release the hands to the mat. So your hands are uh, right underneath your face on the ground, right? Okay, and now take your hands a little bit more forward and bring your weight a little bit more towards your toes. So here, engage your mula bandha. Tighten up the perineum floor, hold. Breathe. You can bend the elbows here. If your body allows for that, you can drop down to the ground a little bit more. Hold your root lock. And now let's do a few abdominal squeezes on the exhalation. So strongly engage your abdominals on the exhalation, on the inhalation release. Repeat. Okay, release the effort now. Now we're gonna uh, come up on the fingertips. So you're starting to lift up. Now bend the knees slightly if you haven't already. Take your hands to the hips and then slowly rise up. All right, so let's keep the legs uh, and the feet right where they are. Turn your right toes out and bring your left toes a little bit more forward. So your feet are lined up for Trikonasana, the triangle pose, right? Okay, bring your arms out parallel to the ground and then reach with your right fingers and then rotate into your triangle. Don't let that uh, left shoulder come forward. So you don't need to be uh, very low in this triangle. The form is more important uh, than the depth here. So your left arm is gonna start rolling. So start slowly making big circles with your left arm. And then bring your left arm either up if you're comfortable here, or if you feel restriction uh, in the shoulders, you can place the left hand on the sacrum. And everybody, let's twist the chest a little bit more towards the sky. As far as the head is concerned, you can look down, you can look straight ahead, or maybe even look up if that's that works for you. Three breaths. You can release the top arm now if you extended it and then a slight bend to the right knee, push into the right foot and come up slowly and carefully, all right? Okay. Now inhale, reach the arms up, parallel your feet and then exhale, reaching arms in the front Reach forward, so you're reaching forward with the fingertips and you're pushing, pushing your booty back at the same time. And then fold in between the feet and then relax your head. Hands to the hips. Bend in the knees, and then on the inhalation, slowly come up. 
and triangle on the other side, Trikonasana. So turn your left foot out, adjust your back foot so your right toes are pointing um, a little bit towards the same direction as the left foot, okay? So we're letting that the right hip come forward by doing that. And then bring the arms out, strong arms. And then reach with your left fingers and then rotate into your triangle. You don't have to reach that right arm up like this. You can uh, perfectly hold your hand on the side. Again, if there's restriction in the shoulders, Make sure you're not pressing the chin into the chest or not throwing the head back too much. So the head and the chin are neutral. All right, let's make a few big circles, big slow circles with your right arm. And then find your expression of the triangle pose here. So arm, either, the top arm either reaches up, you can place your hand on the sacrum and everybody see if you can twist your chest a little bit more to the sky. Do not overextend your left knee. Okay, three breaths here. Okay, let's come up mindfully. You can bring the hands to the hips and slide bend to the left knee, push into the left foot and come up and parallel the feet again. So if you need to shake off your hips a little bit here, please do so. Okay, we're gonna keep the uh, feet out wide, but not as wide as before. So uh, bring your feet a little bit closer together. So your feet are wider than shoulder distance apart, but not too much, All right? Okay, inhale, bring the arms out. And then on the exhalation, bend the right knee, bring your left hand to the right foot or actually anywhere on the right leg. Okay, let's see if uh, you can stack the shoulders here and you're looking down. Okay, elongate the spine. Okay, and now we're gonna move just the head. So on the inhalation, Turn the head, look up at your right hand. See if maybe you can twist a little bit deeper. And then on the exhalation, the head slowly comes back. So your face is looking down. Two more times like that. Inhaling, turning the head, looking at the right hand, twisting the spine a little bit more. And then exhaling, the head comes back down. One more time like that. And then on the next inhalation, coming up and going immediately to the other side. So bending the left knee, bringing the right hand to the ankle, to the foot or anywhere on the left leg. Left arm reaches up. And of course, again, if there's restriction on the shoulders, you can um, relax your left arm. Okay. So find your um, twist here. And then when you're ready, start the head movement. Inhaling, lifting the head up, looking up, twisting the spine a little bit more, exhaling, Turning the head back down. Two more times like that with the breath, please. Okay. 
And then after three repetitions, on the inhalation, come back up to center, arms out, and then exhale, release the arms down. And come to the front of the mat, please. Actually, you don't need to come to the front of the mat. Anywhere on your mat will do. Okay. A few rounds of dynamic chair. So your feet are about hip distance apart. Inhale, bring your arms up. And if possible, hold your arms at your ears, upper arms. As we start moving, hold your arms at your um, ears. If this is not available to you, you can cactus the arms or you can bring your arms parallel to the floor. Okay. So let's start. Inhale here and then exhale. Start bending the knees. Chair pose, and then continue folding the upper body until your arms are parallel to the floor. And then finish your exhalation, coming to the forward fold. Then inhale, bend the knees, the chest rests on the thighs, arms extend forward, parallel to the ground. And then continue your inhalation all the way up. Stretch and repeat two more times. And of course, if you need more breaths as you're moving here, uh, you need to snap extra breaths here and there, absolutely. And then next time you're in your chair pose, let's stay. Breathing here. And then on the next inhalation, Straighten the legs, reach up, look up at your fingertips, and then exhale, bring the arms down. And now take a few resting breaths in your Tadasana, in the mountain pose. Let your breath calm down. All right, and release. Take your feet out wide, about shoulder distance apart. Right, bend your knees, hands above the knees, let your shoulders come up to the ears. So put the weight of your upper body into your arms. So your arms need to be straight for this. And let's start with a few rounds of the abdominal squeeze. So take an inhalation, relax the belly. And then on the exhalation, pull the belly towards the spine. On the inhalation, release. Repeat. If you are familiar with Agnisara, you can uh, go on to Agnisara. 
I'm just gonna remind you. So on the exhalation, you start with firmly pressing the feet down into the ground, then engaging the root lock, tightening up the perineum floor, then the lower abdominals, then the upper abdominals. And then on the next inhalation, release in reverse. Or stay with the abdominal squeeze. And one more round, one last time. And then come up and take a few resting breaths here. So place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Take a few deep, slow breaths. Good. Release your hands and come down to the mat. If you have a block, um, place a block um, at your feet, please. So you're going to be lying on the belly with, uh, and the block will be in between your feet if you have it. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay. okay, bring the arms over the head, like this. Okay, now press your feet into the sides of the block, if you have it, or if you don't have the block, you can bring the feet together and press the feet into each other. Okay, so hold that. And then on the inhalation, Lift just the upper body. Keep the hands on the ground for this. So inhale, exhale lower, squeezing the wall. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Exhale lower. One more time like that. And now for the next three times, see if you can lift the uh, I'm inviting you to um, lift the arms as well, but if that proves too much, you can keep the hands down. So let's do it three times. And relax and place your head down on one side. And then turn the head to the other side. Now bring your hands underneath the shoulders, push yourself up to tabletop. But just pause here for a moment. We um, are countering a deep back bend here. All right, but we're not going into rounding the back. So um, come to seated, please. Your legs are in front of you. You can sit on your blanket um, 
in that house. Okay, so uh, the legs are extended. Now bend your um, right knee and let that right knee drop open to the side. Your right foot can be anywhere along the left leg. And we're keeping the left leg engaged by um, light flexion in the left foot. So the toes are pointing up to the sky. All right, let's uh, just uh, ask the spine and the pelvis to release so we can uh, come into the forward fold, Janu Shivshasana. So inhale here, elongate the spine, abdominals engage. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come to center. So now become aware of your stable base here. So you're firmly seated on the ground, facing your left leg, and then on the exhalation, keeping the straight back, start leaning over that left leg. Don't drown the back. It's not important. If you're leaning uh, forward just a little bit, that's uh, perfectly fine. Just do not relax your back. Reach the heart forward. And then you can just drop your hands anywhere along the left leg. Maybe you can hold to your foot or just anywhere. Eight, eight, and then maybe you can close your eyes, breathe here and see if with every exhalation, your body will let you fold a little bit deeper without pushing, without striving. Okay, now still folded, bring your upper arms alongside your ears so the fingertips are reaching forward. And then as if your upper arms are glued to your ears, come up on the inhalation. And then exhale, release the arms down. All right, take your Sukhasana please, so cross-legged. And let's fold forward here. You have a choice. You can either bring the hands in front of you and walk them away from you, just assisting in the forward fold. Or if you want an extra bonus of stretching the shoulders, you can clasp the hands in the back and fold forward, lifting the arms. And then on the next inhalation, come up. Okay. And extend the legs in front of you once again. So we'll do our Janu Shashasana, the head to knee pose on the other side. So the right leg stays uh, stretched out. Bend the left knee. And then let that knee drop open. So inhaling, elongating here, abdominals in. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. And then on the exhalation, reaching forward with your chest, start folding over the right leg, and then find a comfortable placement for your arms. Breathe. 
And again, see if you can um, smoothly allow, the, if your body will, will allow you to hold a little bit deeper with the exhalation over that right leg. Again, no pushing, no gripping. Okay, and then to come up, again, bring your arms alongside the ears, still folded. Mm -hmm. And then, now I want you to feel the, uh, your sit bones on the ground here. Again, this uh, dual direction of energy, reaching forward with the fingertips at the same time, really firmly planted on the uh, mat, right? Okay, and then on the inhalation, Reaching, 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 coming up. And then exhale, release the arms down. All right. <clears throat> Extend both legs in front of you. You can have your knees bent if you need to. And then take your hands to the tops of your thighs and then press the hands into the thighs so you're kind of like flattening the upper legs into the mat. Let's breathe here. Okay, good. Release the hands and now bring your feet together uh, into Badha Kanasana. You can have uh, the heels away from the groin or if that feels better, you can bring the heels to the groin. And if this is already enough for your body, you can stay right here or maybe again, folding forward, reaching the uh, chest forward. Breathe. On the next inhalation, coming up. Okay, place your hands on your knees and bring the knees up. And now make sure that you have room in the back of your mat and then lie down. Just take a moment here with the knees bent, back flat on the mat. And when you're ready, pull your knees into the chest. Uh, let's make, uh, you can keep the hands on the knees or you can relax the arms down. Let's make a few knee circles here. And reverse the direction. And then bring the knees into the chest and open your arms to the sides at the shoulder level, palms up or down. And then on the exhalation, drop your knees down to your left and take any variation of the spinal twist that you like. Relax, let yourself relax and the only thing, please don't go into a um, um, variation of the spinal twist where you're, uh, that requires a lot of effort from you, okay? So we're winding down and we have to be mindful of it. So we're finished with the active part of the practice. So we need to wind down, start to bring everything inward. Relax, maybe even close your eyes here.
And now firmly press your arms into the floor. Engage your abdominals and bring the knees back up into the chest. And then on the exhalation, lower the knees to the other side. And rest here in the spinal twist. Just relax wherever, especially the areas that are not participating in the twist. There might be some effort in the um, hips area, but hopefully not too much. Relax everything else. Relax your feet, your shoulders, your face. Again, you press your arms into the floor, engage your abdominals, and bring the knees back up. And then lower the feet to the ground, to your mat. And now, if there is anything else that your body needs before we go um, into the relaxation, Please do it, maybe an inversion, maybe a bridge, or maybe you feel complete. But before you start taking your relaxation position, your Shavasana, I want you to prepare your meditation seat so you don't have to fuss around too much once we come out of the relaxation and then we'll take a short meditation. So prepare the seat, prepare yourself, and then take your Shavasana, please. Lying flat on your back, you can bend the knees if needed. Or you can have a support under your knees, a bolster or blocks or blanket. Uh, but just wherever you are, let's keep it in Shavasana and not any other relaxation position. Just, yeah, use any um, support that you need, but so it's closer to Shavasana than anything else, okay? So take your time making yourself comfortable, do your adjustments. You can rock your head side to side gently. And now we're gonna start bringing the awareness inward. Your eyes are closed. Relax your body into the ground. The floor will safely support you. So give yourself permission and reassure yourself that it's safe to relax and let go for now. You did a great job taking care of your body. And now we'll give some love to the mind. By focusing on the inner world and training the mind to relax.
So we can tap into the same feeling when we're off the mat, when it's needed. Take a deep breath in and out. And it's also a good idea to, um, let's do that. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then sigh it out through the mouth. Ah. Relax. Relax your face, the forehead, the eyebrows. Relax the back of the head and the neck. Relax the jaw and the tongue. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. Relax your shoulders, arms, hands, and fingers. Relax the upper back, the shoulder blades, the rib cage, and the lower back. Relax the chest, the collarbones, the abdominals, the lower belly, and the pelvis. Relax your hips and your thighs, the lower legs, the feet and the toes. Relax your whole body and let your body breathe. Let your whole body breathe. Every cell of the body is breathing. Every cell of your body is drawing in fresh new energy with the inhalation and with every exhalation your body is getting rid of the toxins wastes or whatever else you don't need anymore whatever else is not serving its purpose anymore exhale and let it go Let yourself breathe effortlessly, quietly, in a restful way. Relax. Let it go. Surrender.
In a moment, we are going to start to come out of the relaxation. Now sense your breath again, take a deeper breath. And then wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe ankles and wrists. Maybe turning your head side to side gently. And then bend your knees and roll over to one side. And once you're on your side, Round your back a little bit. So uh, pull your knees uh, towards the chest a little bit more. Tuck your chin. And when you're ready, try to maintain that inner awareness. And with that, come up into a comfortable seated position for the closing, just a few minutes, or closing meditation. And I will guide you through the meditation. <clears throat> So once you've found your any, any comfortable seated position, you can sit on the chair if you wish. Close your eyes. Stack your shoulders over the hips. Now pull the abdominals in very lightly. And engage your mula bandha lightly. So this will create a stable support for your lower body from where your spine can reach up and blossom. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face. And now notice the sounds around you. Maybe it's a clock ticking. Maybe you can hear the sounds of activity outside the room or in the room. Maybe you can hear the street sounds. Maybe people talking in the other areas of the house or any other sounds you can hear. So notice the sounds without reacting to them. And now notice the air on your skin. Notice your clothes touching your skin. And now notice how your skin feels today. Does it feel dry or moist? How does the air that's touching your skin feels? Is it dry or moist? Is it cool or warm? And now turn your focus inward. Can you hear any sounds of the physiological process in the body? Is your stomach making little sounds? The sensations in the body? 
Is there anything inside the body that requires your attention right now? Is there any pain or tension, pulling? And now bring your awareness to your nostrils and notice that exact moment when the air hits your nostrils as you inhale. What is that precise moment when the air enters the body? What is the spot that it hits when it enters the body? And now see yourself outside of yourself as if you're looking at yourself from outside as you sit here and meditate. Become your own witness as you sit here and meditate. Observe yourself as you meditate. And now bring your hands together in front of your heart. Keep your eyes closed for now. And now acknowledge the goodness in you. Thank yourself for taking the time to care for yourself. And resolve to give yourself as much love and care as you give to others. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.